Rafe, come. Over. Over. Good job. My name is Angela Walker. I'm from Illinois. And I had a trip scheduled from Chicago to Birmingham, Alabama. I was traveling with my dog, my service animal, Brave. Well, when the bus arrived, the driver came over and she said, um, can you walk up the stairs? And I said, no, I don't think that's a good idea for me. I have purchased tickets on the first floor and I pointed to where the seats were and I said, I'd rather sit in my chair. Um, and so she said to me, well, if you want to ride, that's fine. But if you want to bring that dog, then you and the dog will have to go to the upper level of this bus. And I said, why? And she said, because I, she was allergic to dogs and that the bus had to be, the dog had to be on top. I asked her again, is it possible I could get on the bus without going up the stairs? And she said, no, maybe somebody can take your dog upstairs and watch your dog for you if you cannot get up the stairs. And I said, no, my dog has to be with me. So then she said, then you won't be riding this bus. And she got on the bus, closed the doors, and pulled off and left me standing there. I wish that people who have the job of helping others with service animals, that they could be a little more knowledgeable about our service animals, why we have them, why we're not supposed to be separated from the animal. And I think that in my particular case, if a driver is allergic to a dog, when that booking is made for my seat and for the dog, I think that maybe they should have something in place where they know whether or not a, uh, a driver is allergic to a dog and what they should do. I really wish that people knew and understood the law a little bit better. I know that the ADA law has been around for about 27 years and people still don't know how to treat others who have disabilities. Good boy, come, come on, let's go.